Hey everyone and welcome again in a new video t tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can fix this yellow triangle with your internet. As you can see my internet is saying limited no internet access. So if you are using Windows 7 or Windows 8 you might need to go to the start menu and look for control panel and you click on it and as soon as you have the control panel you please be careful that that's it might uh, be aware of the fact that it might not show the same as it's showing in my computer it might show you depending on the in the view by if it's a small category it will show you like this or if it's a large icons it should show you like this but anyway make sure to change it to category if you have Windows 8 or Windows 10 they are similar and to go to network and internet and then network and sharing center and then you click twice in your Wi-Fi to open it we will see how we will reset how we will set it up and to fix that problem for the people who's who they have Windows 10 they can use the same way or they can use they can use a shortcut you can click on your Wi-Fi using the right side or the right button of the mouse and you look for open network and sharing center and you click on internet so basically the main problem with the internet is that there is a problem with the IP address or there is a problem on the on, on your router so when you go to properties it takes some seconds to open and then please make sure make sure to select the internet protocol so as soon as you select internet protocol version 4 you click on properties and here you have two choice either you will choose you will choose the first choice is to obtain an IP address automatically and obtain the server address automatically you click OK and as soon as you click OK you will need to click again OK here and you close the this window and then it should work if it doesn't work for you then all you might you might need to do is to search for CMD command prompt you you click on it with the right side of the, uh, the right button of the mouse and you choose run as administrator and then you click yes it will open for you and here you will your type IP IP config so that you can get your real IP address so my physical IP address for version for IPv4 it's 19268 it's usually coming as these numbers and you need to remember these three or you can just put them in front and type them so we will try to manage to get all so let's just put it a little bit like this cool so now we will click use the following IP address and you need to retype exactly the same so for IP address you will type the first line 192.168 and you type your own number and you continue then you go to the next and here sometimes it type automatically sometimes not so make sure please to type 255 255 255 in the subnet mask and in the end you type a zero and the default gateway you will type again your IP address with a small difference so you type again your IP address and in the end you will not put a hundred but you will put one like in the default gateway and in your DNS server you will choose addresses and here you will choose 8888 eight, eight. and again 8 8 and here you will choose 4 and another 4 please make sure that you check back again if if you miss any number or if you type a wrong number please make sure to correct it otherwise there is going to be a problem and as soon as you tap all this you click validate settings upon exit 
and here you click OK and after this you just close as I said and for sure your internet should be working I will just close mine it will take a while what what's next the next step is your system will try to detect any problems with your network and the system will try to repair it if you are using Windows 10 or Windows 7 or even Windows 8 otherwise if there is no problem detected then your internet should be working fine all what you need to do is to check your internet back and everything should be okay it will take few just between few seconds and few minutes and not more than five minutes and it should be okay as I said it changed automatically to connected so for me I don't need internet for the moment so I will just deactivate it and going back here when your system detect any problem it will refer to you and then you can explore additional options otherwise as here it says troubleshooting couldn't identify the problem so then there is no problem with my wireless anymore with my Wi-Fi anymore so you just press OK and close please make also sure to check if your device driver is up to date so all what you need to do while connected to internet or not you check if your driver are installed you type device manager sorry it was too fast so you come here you, you, you go to the search top and you type device manager it doesn't matter if you are using Windows 10 Windows 8 or Windows 7 it is, it is the same perspective and you click here with the right side of the mouse sorry we click with the mouse and it will open to you this window it's called device manager it, it show you the drivers of your computer if all the hardware drivers are installed so you go next to net network adapter and please make sure that there is nothing with yellow triangle uh, with yellow sign here so as you can see here everything is installed everything is working there is no yellow sign so if you want to make sure that your your driver are up to date you just click on this one and uh, sorry you click on update driver software and then search automatically for update software and if you're connected to internet it should be working and it will show you if if your driver need to be updated the system will tell you and the, and the system will help you and guide you if not then it will say as here Windows has successfully updated your driver software so as you can see my computer just finished to update my software if not if my driver was up to date the system will say that my my, soft, my driver is up to date I hope this video was helpful to you guys if you need help assistance you can always contact us via email or you can put for us a comment and we'll be replying to your comments please do not forget to subscribe share and like and if you have any question, please do not hesitate to contact us. We are here to help you. Thank you, everyone, and we wish you to have a good day.